Biden. There you go. Hello. U.S. President Joe Biden held a much-anticipated two-hour video call with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday, warning him that his country would face strong economic sanctions and other measures if Russia invades Ukraine. Things we did not do in 2014, we are prepared to do now. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters after the video call that potential economic sanctions would exceed the measures imposed on Russia after it annexed Crimea from Ukraine in 2014, but added that he did not believe an invasion was imminent. We still do not believe that President Putin has made a decision. What President Biden did today was lay out very clearly the consequences if he chooses to move. And ultimately, we will see in the days ahead through actions, not through words, uh, what course of action Russia chooses to take. The virtual meeting, which Sullivan said was mainly about Ukraine, comes at the lowest point for U.S.-Russian relations since the end of the Cold War. Economic sanctions, which one U.S. official said could target Russia's biggest banks and Moscow's ability to convert rubles into dollars and other currencies, are designed to dissuade Putin from using tens of thousands of troops gathered near the Ukrainian border to attack its southern neighbor. The Kremlin, which said before Tuesday's video call that it did not expect any breakthroughs, has denied harboring any intention to attack Ukraine and has said its troop posture is defensive. Putin told Biden he wanted legally binding guarantees against what the Kremlin calls creeping NATO expansion and complained about NATO attempts to, quote, develop Ukrainian territory. The virtual meeting ended with an agreement to continue talks and meet in person at some point, and both sides directed their teams to follow up on issues related to Ukraine.